The world is full of animals, and that's not a hard thing for us to say on many levels, but when it comes to those animals, many have a perceived size that is programmed into us because of television, movies, books, and so on. So when it comes to our attention that one of these animals is a bit bigger than their normal size, my reaction is usually, I had no idea they could get that big. And guess what? There are a lot of animals that you can very easily have that reaction with. Here now are 20 biggest creatures ever captured. Number 20. Barbary Lion We'll begin the list by talking about a king. A king of the jungle, that is. Now, I'm obviously talking about the lion, a creature who you already know is pretty large on its own, even in the modern day. They're large enough to take on things like water buffalo and other great animals of Africa. So the question becomes, did they really get bigger than what they are now? <laughs> Well, it's a possibility with the Barbary Lion. In the 19th century, hunters have accounts of Barbary Lions where they claim to be the largest lion, with a weight of wild males ranging to be about 600 to 660 pounds. Yet the accuracy of such data is measured in the field, and it is questionable. Captive Barbary Lions were much smaller, but kept under such poor conditions that they might not have attained their full potential size and weight. It's well documented that captive animals don't always do as well as those who are left to be in the wild, hence why certain creatures like great white sharks can never be put into a place like SeaWorld they'll die when they're not free. And that also can affect their size and weight. And so it's possible that we never got to see the true full power of a Barbary lion long enough to actually detail it. And due to that, there's a lot of ranges about how big that this one lion species was. For example, some accounts put its length at over nine feet. Terrifying. There are also some questions about which subspecies of lion that the Barbary lion fell into, though by the end, scientists felt that it was closer to the Asiatic lion than anything else. And as for why we can't just find and research one now, well, unfortunately, they're extinct. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Take a look at this picture and your head will definitely tilt as you try to ponder what you're looking at, because this is a picture of a giant turtle, possibly a tortoise, that is so big that it had to be carried by a truck to get down the road. This has to be the world's biggest tortoise. And as you can tell, there's a lot of people who are looking at this turtle as it goes by. So did some sewer turtle get into a vat of green ooze and grow beyond their normal size times 100? Well, that is one option, obviously. Another one is that it was a creation for something like a movie. After all, it was said to have happened in Japan, and the Japanese are known for their monster movies, which includes ones that you may have heard of, like Gamera, which is about a very large turtle. What do you think about it all? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below using the hashtag FancyTopic. Number 19. The Goat Farm animals of all kinds are at times raised to be large, mainly because of what's done with them after they've gotten so big. One of the exceptions to that rule is the goat. They serve other purposes on the farm, but that doesn't mean that some of them don't get bigger than others. The world's largest goat was found in Great Britain, and it went by the name of Mostyn Moorcock, owned by Pat Robinson of Ewa's Herald, Hereford and Worcester, UK. It reached a shoulder height of 44 inches and an overall length of 66 inches, and that makes for a pretty large goat. And to further double down on that, this is a goat that you wouldn't want to mess with in terms of having it come after you for one reason or another. Because don't forget, goats can actually be aggressive. But seriously, it is pretty big. A goat that's over 5 feet long and that was 44 inches just to the shoulder, its head was above the shoulder, so 
Obviously, its true height was likely to be a solid four foot tall. Now, I don't know how the goat got to be that size, but whether it's through dumb luck or by breeding, it's there for all to see, and we can hope that no matter what, this is as big as they get. Because any bigger, and that's absolutely terrifying. On the flip side, not unlike a Pokemon, could I ride this goat? Would that be okay to ask? Number 18. Sheep. Now, I just talked about a goat whose natural body was bigger than any you've probably seen, but now we'll go to the flip side and look at a sheep who has a part of its body that grew to a size you've never seen before. And I promise you, it's absolutely real. Because you see, a sheep would be abandoned out in Australia, and when he was rescued by people, they noticed something rather unique, that being its wool. No, not that it had wool, that's obviously one of the main features of a sheep, but rather the wool on this particular sheep had grown so much when it was eventually sheared off, it weighed about 75 pounds alone. The sheep, who is named Barak, had pictures taken before and after the shearing, and just look at all of that wool. It was a property maintenance man who would spot Barak in the forest that adjoined the boundaries of a property that he had been working on. He then contacted an animal sanctuary, who soon took in the sheep and let it reside there. And lest you think that it had just more wool than others, it does get deeper than that. The wool around his face actually impaired his vision, and they said that they found grit and debris that had been pooling up in the gap between his cornea and his eyelid. A grass seed had gotten stuck there and caused an ulcer, and what's more, once the sheep was sheared, it was found to be underweight in terms of its actual body. So allow this to be a lesson to you out there who have sheep. Yes, their wool can keep growing indefinitely, but that doesn't mean that you should allow it. Number 17. Galapagos Giant Tortoise The Galapagos Giant Tortoise is an actual giant turtle that you're going to see on this list. And what's more, it's one that you could actually go and see today if you head to the Galapagos Islands. In fact, in case you didn't know, the islands were actually named after the tortoises themselves, as they were once one of the most abundant creatures on the islands. Galapagos being the Spanish name for tortoise. But as you can imagine, things do slowly go wrong for them over time. It's believed that at one time, the islands actually contained about 250,000 Galapagos giant tortoises, but fast forward to now, and there seems to be only about 15,000 of them, which is quite the massive drop. And that's a shame given how large that these tortoises can be, both in size and weight. Even Charles Darwin himself noted that it would take up to eight men to lift these tortoises at times. The largest recorded individuals have reached weights of over 880 pounds and lengths of 6.1 feet. That makes for a big, big tortoise, or turtle, whatever's being shown on the screen right now. So what would have happened? Well, you already know the answer to that. Man happened. In fact, man happened in a variety of ways. They brought in a race of rice rats to the Galapagos Islands, and that seriously hurt the population. Then there were those who learned about the longevity and survivability of the tortoises, so they came and stole them for their own purposes. Efforts are now being made to help conserve them, the irony of which is that if we were to leave them alone, they could arguably save themselves. After all, their lifespan, well, at times can reach 177 years. Number 16. The Megabat The Megabat is a reference to the largest bat species in the world today, one who happens to have a wingspan of up to five and a half feet. The true species name, though, is the giant golden-crowned flying fox. So yeah, Megabat, well, that's just easier to say, and it kind of rolls off the tongue a lot better, and kind of gives you a better vision in your mind of what it might or might not be. I'm just going to go with that for now. Endemic to the jungles of the Philippines, this enormous species of megabat is the largest bat in the world, having a wingspan, as I said, of up to five and a half feet and colonies that can number up to 10,000 in members.
So just think about that for a moment. Think about being in the Philippines and then causing an eruption of these bats to occur. All of them then showcasing their wingspans, which is about equal to the height of a normal, average female human being, and in the worst of ways, literally putting you in the shadow of the bat. To say you would be freaked out is likely an understatement. But wait, I do have good news in all of this. These giant megabats, well, they're actually herbivores. The herbivorous creature relies mainly on fruits and typically forages at dusk for anything from figs to ficus leaves, eating around one third of its body weight every single night. During the day, it slumbers and roosts amidst large clumps of its peers and treetops. So thus, while it may be huge, as long as you don't pick a direct fight with one, you'll probably be fine. Number 15. Giant Chinese Salamander the next mega-sized animal is the giant Chinese salamander, one that's known as a living fossil. But why, you may ask? Well, that's because it's clear that this creature lived long ago and was meant to die out, but it actually didn't. There are quite a few living fossils in the world today, and indeed, this is the last species of the giant salamander on Earth. On average, most of them fall between 4 to 8 inches, but the giant Chinese salamander actually comes in at 6 feet long. Due to that size, it's the largest amphibian in the world, a record that many are shocked at when they've heard of this creature. Thankfully, the giant Chinese salamander is not a threat to people. At least nobody thinks that it is. Nobody honestly knows for sure, though, due to how it lives. This one is an entirely aquatic amphibian and lives in rocky hill streams and lakes with clear water. It typically lives in dark, muddy, or even rocky crevices along the banks, and with that being said, it's also very capable of living at high elevations. There's even one sect of these creatures that lives over 13,000 feet above sea level, which is very impressive and likely not something you'd expect at all. Sadly, though, these giant Chinese salamanders are actually almost extinct. It's currently labeled as a critically endangered species, which means that it's very much on the edge of dying out. Humanity is mainly to blame due to infringing on its territory along with its habitat. However, there is hope that we can grow their population back up, and many are attempting to do that right now. Because the last thing the world needs is to lose another remnant of the past world just because of progress in the current one. Number 14. The Blue Whale this next one's going to be interesting to talk about for various reasons, because I want to be clear about something from the start. Yes, the blue whale is definitively the largest animal to have existed of all the animals that we know of. Now, there are definitive recordings of how large they can get, but not unlike certain fish tales, there are all sorts of reports about how big they could get, even though we can't prove that all currently. Case in point, the largest true recording of a blue whale is one that would be found and accurately measured to be at about 98 feet in length. That's just under the 100 foot mark. And it also was said to have weighed 199 metric tons. To say that it was a big creature would be an understatement of the most grand proportions. This record breaker stands out due to how the average length of the blue whale is actually just above 70 feet, so the one that would be found was nearly 30 feet larger than the average, which is quite impressive and again backed up by official records. However, there are other unofficial records that have the blue whale reaching a length of over 100 feet, with one even saying that they found one that was 108 feet at one time. But when it comes to modern times, those numbers are suspect, citing faulty measuring techniques amongst other things for the abnormalities. To be fair, there could be 100 foot plus blue whales out there. Many people don't actually get to see the blue whale out in the wild due to how they blend into the water and aren't typically seen near the shore. So in short, there could be a massive whale out there that breaks all the records and we would never even know about it until it was ran into. Number 13. Goliath Bird Eater 
If you've been with this channel for a long time, you know that some of us are not the biggest fan of spiders at all. So talking about a spider that's much larger than other spiders pretty much doesn't give us any kind of pleasure. Regardless of the internal screaming, the Goliath bird eater is indeed the world's largest spider by mass, weighing in at about 6.2 ounces. Furthermore, the spider is able to get up to 12 inches in length at times, which very easily makes it tower above most other spiders. You might be curious about its name though as many names of animals don't always tell the accurate truth about the creature in question. However, this time it kind of does, because indeed, the Goliath bird eater can eat birds, and there's even video proof of it should you want to watch, which I most certainly do not. Either way though, this just goes to show how well the spider uses its impressive and terrifying size, but you may be wondering, can it hurt a human? Well, yes, it does have a bite that's venomous, but it's not enough to kill you though. However, it can be likened to the sting of a wasp, which means it's very painful and thus something that you don't want to happen to you. Unless you're into that sort of thing, I'm not going to shame you for it. It also has barbs that can cause great irritation on your skin if you let them get on you. Number 12. Giant Amazonian Ant now I'll be honest here for a moment. The Amazon rainforest is home to all kinds of animals, and due to its mostly untouched sector of life, outside of the fringes where we're murdering trees at a frightening rate, there are all sorts of creatures that could grow beyond their normal size. The case in point, the giant Amazonian ant. Now if you haven't heard of this ant before, you wouldn't exactly be alone. Most people on Earth like to think of the bullet ant as the bigger species of ant out there. However, the giant Amazonian ant can get up to 1.6 inches in body length, and that makes it the largest ant in the world today by far. Just imagine, if you will, ticking off a colony of these ants and then being besieged by them. I promise you it's not going to be pleasant. Oh, and did I mention that they have venom inside of their bodies? Because they do. An ant that carries venom that's over an inch long? For subduing large live prey and defense, workers possess a sting that has been known to cause severe pain that lasts up to 48 hours. Symptoms can include things that I'm not about to attempt to pronounce, along with edema, tachycardia, and fresh blood appearing in some. Not good places for symptoms that you can get if you're stung by them. So, to be perfectly clear, these are large ants who carry venom and are willing to sting you if you get too close. Number 11. Siberian Tigers Despite what people may think, lions are not actually the biggest of the big cats. That would actually be the tiger, or even the liger, but that's a hybrid, and that may not really count. You can argue with me about it in the comments below, but it's pretty much the coolest animal to ever exist. Anyways, of the natural big cats and the tigers, the Siberian tiger, also known as the Amur tiger, is the biggest of the bunch. To the extent that the largest recorded one weighed over 660 pounds and just its tail was three feet long. Even the average weight of one of these tigers is huge, as they come out to be about 475 pounds in regards to the males. It should also be noted that there were once tigers who were even larger, but those were ones who would eventually all be picked off by hunters. The catch with this whole species, as you might have guessed, is that because of humans hunting them and infringing on their habitat, they're an endangered species, to the extent that in 2005, there were less than 400 adults left in the main region in which they lived. Things did get better via conservation efforts, but some are left wondering if it'll hold, as there's still a decline going on there. Hopefully though, things can get turned around for the species. Number 10. Harpy Eagle Eagles are a very special breed of bird and they're the symbols of many things. For the harpy eagle, they're the symbol of being a really big freaking bird. These great birds are named after harpies, the predatory, frightful flying creatures with hooked beaks and claws of Greek mythology. 
but how big do they actually get? At their peak, they're said to be about 41 inches in height and weigh about 20 pounds, and for a bird, that's kinda huge. In terms of raw dangerousness, you need to look no further than the claws of this big terrifying beast, because these things can be up to 4 inches long. which is as big as other predators, which include bears, what they'll do is swoop onto their foes, grab their prey with their talons, and then drop their foes to the ground so hard that they instantly die and are thus ready to be eaten. Mmm, bon appetit. Number 9. Brody the Giant Bear now I know you hear that and you think, oh, there's no good that can come from this, but you'd be wrong as Brody the giant bear is indeed a massive bear, but is also one who's trained to be an actor. The bear was raised and trained by his owner Jeff since he was eight weeks old and weighed less than 10 pounds. Oh, the more simple days of raising a bear. He's appeared in numerous films, television shows, commercials, and print ads, and has worked with some of the most top wildlife photographers in the United States. As for his height and weight, well, he was compared to another bear who was about 10 feet in height and 1,500 pounds in weight. So yeah, that's one big ass bear. Number 8. Daniel the Cow now I'm sure that when some of you look at cows you go, huh, they're that big? And indeed they are. But when it comes to Daniel the cow, well, he's a whole lot bigger. I say that because his owners, who are very proud and boastful about his height, say that he's about 6 foot 4 inches tall, which is a really big cow. And as you may guess, that height needs some sustenance to get through the days. Each day, Daniel gets through 100 pounds of hay and 15 pounds of grain. That's four times the amount of a regular cow, and that helps him to produce 150 pounds worth of cow patties in a 24-hour period. His owners also boast that he's a world record record holder, but nobody can actually confirm that. At the very least though, he may be close to it. Number 7. Tibetan Mastiff Behold the might and size of the Tibetan Mastiff dog. Yes, it is a real dog, and it is really that big. In terms of its height, they can get to be about 30 inches, so that doesn't sound too bad at first. But in terms of weight, the males of the species can get up to 150 pounds. In other words, these dogs do have bulk, and they're not afraid to use it. Part of the reason for that should be obvious. They were originally bred to be in more colder regions like the mountains of Tibet, and their double coat helps to keep them as well as their owners warm and let them endure the harsh conditions. Even though many people do not live in those regions, they can't get enough of this dog, but you should be warned. This dog can be great for a pet, but it does come with its own set of problems, one being its size, that you'd have to handle and deal with. So if you choose this one, good luck with that. Number 6. Roger the Kangaroo Kangaroos are known not only for their size, but also their strength, and then there's Roger, the alpha male of his pack of kangaroos, and apparently one who was strong enough to crush metal. Roger grew to be about 6 feet 7 inches tall and weighed somewhere around 200 pounds, which is more than enough to make an impression on someone or something that it's trying to hit, such as a metal bucket, which Roger's owner claimed that Roger crushed on his own. His muscular physique that was shown in that picture got a lot of people talking as you may imagine, and even if it was an over-exaggerated thing, kangaroos can definitely kick your ass, so you're not going to want to mess with them. Number 5. Green Anaconda Snakes are one of those species where, you know, they can be small and harmless, or they can be massive and try to kill you in a whole lot of ways. That's why they made the Anaconda movies, remember? And indeed, the Anaconda line are some of the largest snakes out there, with the green Anaconda being the biggest snake currently on Earth, when you don't factor in its length. 
Now granted, their length can still be pretty long, as they've been noted to be about 17 feet on average, even weighing up to 150 pounds at times. But some still feel that they can be even longer given how rare it is to actually measure one of these snakes. Oh, and that's more than enough length and mass to be able to constrict the prey that it wants to have for its dinner. So I recommend that that not be you. Number four, giant African land snails. Behold, an animal that you should all fear, but not all know to actually fear it. The giant African land snail. But why should you fear something that's a snail and is only 8 inches long and 5 inches wide? Well, they're a big snail, but most importantly, they're an invasive species. So invasive that if it gets into your home, you're going to be overrun by them in no time flat. In Africa, they've tried quarantines, pesticides, poisons, and have even introduced other predators, in one case, literally using flamethrowers to try and get rid of the snails, but they just kept on surviving and coming back for more. When they were introduced into the United States some decades ago, it took them years to get rid of them, and then they found out that they missed some and had to start all over again. In other words, these giant snails actually suck. Number 3. Coconut Crab Some of you may picture a large crab as something that you just can't wait to eat, but you won't want to stalk the coconut crab if you're looking for a meal and if you know what's good for you. From tip to tip, this creature is over 3 feet long and has a bulk that makes you know that it can handle itself. Case in point, it's actually able to climb trees and kill a bird for a meal. It's so strong in fact that it can crack the shells of an actual coconut and if you were to provoke it, it would be more than happy to go after you. Now to be fair, I also could have put the Japanese spider crab on here whose legs make it much longer, but that's because those legs are very long. Either way though, it just goes to show that there are some mighty big crabs out there walking around in the world. Number 2. Capybara the capybara is the largest rodent in the world today, a creature whose size is two feet in height and something that you'd think people would want to get rid of in a hurry. Well, not quite, because despite their size and the fact that they are indeed rodents, the capybara are known to be quite fun and sociable animals, to the extent that there are a lot of people out there who actually keep them as pets as they're surprisingly good at being them. To be clear, not just anyone can have them as there are a lot of restrictions, but if you look it up and see you can, well, you could do a lot worse, that's for sure. You might even want to get two of them as they're at their best when they have a companion to be with. Number 1. The Whale Shark if you're looking for the largest fish in the world today, you need to look no further than the whale shark. This is a shark that's one of three filter feeders out there in the world, meaning that they aren't a danger to humans. Even though you'd swear that they should be, because the largest one ever recorded was 61 feet. The whale shark holds many records for its size in the animal kingdom, most notably being by far the largest living non-mammalian vertebrate, because obviously it's that obvious. Seriously though, whale sharks are wonderful creatures, and they've actually been known to swim along divers and have humans interact with them willingly without any issues. It's good to know that the biggest shark out there is on our side. That's all from the realm of really big animals that were captured. Were you surprised by some of the species that were found to have been abnormally large? Which of these creatures would you have personally loved to see up close or been able to capture? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.